working with economic growth, GDP, GNI. In the last class, we talked about reasons why we measure the national income. And the first note was on we economic students being able to measure the national income as a statistic that allows us to compare one country with another. That was the reason why we, that's one of the reasons why we measure the national income of a country. So that measurement that we talked about, that, oh, as economic students, oh, I need to travel out of this country. So if I have to travel, I need to compare the living standards of this country. I need to compare the growth rate in this country with the country I'm going to. I'm not just going to go into that country. I'm not just going to travel. I need a reason for traveling. So one of the reasons why I want to travel is to compare the economic growth rate of this country with another economic another national income or economic growth rate of another country. So to do this, we may use we use national income. So what are the faults? What are the problems using national income to compare the living standard? Because you are gonna go there to live, yes or no? So going there to live, you are going because you think it will improve your lifestyle, it will improve your livelihood. You want to live, you are not gonna to live to a country that the living standard is lower than your, the country you are presently in. Will you? Nobody wants to live to a worst country. I believe so, right? So as a result of that, we want to compare the economic growth rate. We want to compare the living standard. So that takes us to the limitations of using GDP or GNI to compare the living standard of a country. So here I wrote, I, I wrote in the process of determining the extent at which a country is performing, than another. Economists either measure through either economic, through economic growth, we can take this away please, through economic growth rate or living standards. So, we are moving. We want to know the, the level of output of this country compared to other countries. The living standard of this country compared to other countries. But doing this, it comes with its own limitations. It comes with its own feedback, setbacks. It comes with its own problems. That is what we want to, uh, want to, what we want to address today. So the first one is, when we are measuring the living standard of people, of countries, what are the problems we encounter? The first one, like I said, countries may use different accounting conventions when calculating the national income. What are accounting conventions? These are different ways in which we measure or we, put, we produce or we, prov uh, we, we provide our accounting records. So we have our own records, we have our own way, you have your, the country has its own way. Some countries will use GDP, some countries will use GNI, some countries will use GBA. So because we have different accounting conventions, we might not be getting similar figures. Do you get what I'm saying here? GDP, GNI is an accounting convention. It's an accounting way of recording your transactions, recording your output. But because my country does not use GBA, your country uses GNI, we might not be getting the same thing. Get the point here. GBA is different from GNI. GDP is different from GNI. Uh, GDP is different from GBA. So, because we use different accounting conventions, we might not be getting the same figures. As a result, it becomes difficult for us to compare country A with country B because we are not using the same accounting convention. But if we do, if we do use the same accounting convention, then we can get it. But for the fact that each country has their own policies, it becomes difficult for you to compare one country to use the same accounting record or convention like yours. So each country is a sovereign, is a sovereign state. Each country is independent, so they can they decide they can decide to do to use which account whichever accounting records they want to use. As a result of that, it becomes difficult for economists to compare one country with another, based on the fact that they use different accounting conventions. I think that is clear. Accounting conventions are ways in which we record our transactions. I might use GNI, you might use GBA, you might use PPI. So because they are different, we might not be getting the same figures. We won't even get the same figures. That is a fact. I think the point is clear. The second one. The size of the unrecorded part of the economy differ between countries. You know we talked about the unrecorded side of the economy. We talked about the black market. Remember we talked about it. So because, they are, because each country has its own way of bypassing governments in terms of policies, in terms of, because of taxation. So that means country A might have a very strict government policy that does not allow so much bypass in terms of evading tax. Country B might not have. Get the point I'm talking about here. The second point is about the eating economy. We talked about the eating economy. This is the economy whereby, because of taxation, we try to evade tax by not coming out 
to say things we do. So we use the bad door to do things. These are unrecorded economic activity. So each country, with different countries, will not, they won't have the same unrecorded economic activity. Why? Because country A might still be strict than country B. Country B might be less strict than country C. As a result of that, the ones that are so strict might have less unrecorded economy than the ones that are not strict. Do we get the point or not? Yeah, I will. We're talking about unrecorded activities. What are unrecorded activities? These are activities that government does not have, does not have records for. The black market. People bypass, businesses bypass things because they don't want to pay tax. They evade tax. So because they evade tax, they don't have records. Government do not have records for these things. So records that government do not have vary. Country A might have a strict policy or regulations that do not allow so much space for you to bypass them. Country B, country B might not. Country C may. Country D might not. As a result of that, because each country do not, each country do not have the same regulations. It might be difficult in one country to bypass tax. It might not be difficult in another country to bypass tax. As a result of that, we won't be having the same or similar unrecorded economic activity. Unrecorded economic activity is the hidden economy, the black market, where things are not recorded, where governments do not have records of transactions that go in or come out of the economy. As a result of that, they are unable to measure the economic growth. They are unable to measure using the national income. So because we cannot measure the living standards, or because living standards needs to, we need to calculate all activities that is done in the country. But the fact that we have unrecorded activity, it becomes difficult for country A to calculate all its living standards using national income or country B to do that. But we have to put in mind that each country are not the same. They have different regulations. Which a country might be so strict that people will not be able to bypass tax. And that country might be so less in regulations that people can find a way around not paying taxes. So that would not allow us to be able to measure the living standard of one country with another based on this. I think it's clear now. The third one. The third one. The quality of goods and services produced differ. There are countries like China, there are countries like America, there are countries like Germany. They produce goods and services, maybe substitute goods. But when you check the quality, they are not the same quality, yes or no? So because they are not the same quality, country A, because country A has better quality than country B, country A might be selling more than country B. As a result, the national income of country A might be higher than the national income of country B. But they do produce the same thing. They do produce the same product. But because there is difference in quality that it produces, it might differ also in terms of measuring the living standard. Do we get it? Yes. The quality of goods and services produced in countries differ. So this country might have a better policy than that country. And as a result of that, the living standard of this country that has a better policy might be higher than the living standard of those countries that have a less quality than the other ones. So that is another problem when we are measuring the living standard. The fourth one, countries spend a different proportion of their GDP on defense and other expenditures, which does not reflect in their living standard. Different countries spend different amounts of money on defense, we talk about defense security, on expenditures. So we don't spend the same amount of money. So how do we compare the living standards? So we might be spending on infrastructure, country A might be spending on infrastructure, more on infrastructure, where country B is spending more on defense. Country, B, country C might be spending more on consumption. So as a result of that, we won't be able to compare the living standards of country A, B, and C because they are not spending the same level of money on the same item. This country is relying on defense. This country is relying on consumption. That country is relying on infrastructure. So basically, when you, check it, when you look at it that way, the country that is spending more right now on consumption 